so um, according to um, Scotland's um, first minister, and I guess this is the person who's next in line to be um, prime minister of Scotland. You know, I'm just going to roll this. That 99% of the meetings I go to, I'm the only non-white person in the room. But why are we so surprised when the most senior positions in Scotland are filled almost exclusively by those who are white? Take my portfolio alone. The Lord President, white. The Lord Justice Clark, white. Every High Court judge, white. The Lord Advocate, white. The Solicitor General, white. The Chief Constable, white. Every Deputy Chief Constable, white. Every Assistant Chief Constable, white. The Head of the Law Society, white. The Head of the Faculty of Advocates, white. Every Prison Governor, white. And not just Justice, the Chief Medical Officer, white. The Chief Nursing Officer, white. The Chief Veterinary Officer, white. The Chief Social Work Advisor, white. Almost every trade union in this country headed by people who are white. In the Scottish Government, every Director General is white. Every chair of every public body is white. That is not good enough. The trouble with Scotland is that it's full of Scots. <laughs> well, it is a country that's like 96% uh, white. So I guess the problem with Scotland is that uh, uh, it is, in fact, full of Scots. Yeah, this right here is a level of stupidity. And you know, it's really funny, too, because I did two videos yesterday talking about the stupidity of, uh, of what is going on, especially with the white professor at uh, Loyola University saying that pantries, uh, clean and organized pantries were racist. And, of course, there was the, uh, the guy who claimed he got funneled up at TSA, even though he claims to be a woman. Uh, and now, of course, you have this right here. So obviously the stupidity is not just going on here in the United States. Never mind the fact that you have riots going on in France. You know, only in the West can you get away with stupidity like this. So I got to ask the question. So as you guys have seen the racial demographics of Scotland, and by the way, that's just a good old-fashioned Google search that was to show you that Scotland is like damn near 100% white. I got to ask the question. I mean, like, dude, what, what did you expect? Did you expect there to be anyone who was brown, yellow, green? I mean, I know that there's, a, that there's a stereotype that most Scotsmen have got like red hair, even though I've seen that most Scot that uh, a lot of people from Scotland don't have red hair. They have about the same type of hair color as we do here in the United States. Because a lot of us uh, white Europeans even have a uh, Scottish blood in us, so you can't use that stereotype anymore. But I just just gotta ask a question though. Like I said before, did you expect there to be anybody who, I don't know, wasn't white? I mean, as I said before, you know, like 9.6 out of every 10 people in that country are white. This right here is so stupid, I really and truly don't know where to start. Guys, this right here is how crazy woke is making people. It's how crazy it is. But then again, though. I've also figured out that for the most part, it's just a way to game the system. I mean, and, 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 and I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll further explain this here in just a second, but that right there is what this right really and truly is. But seeing how it is Scotland, I don't think that this entire play is going to go over well with the Scots. If we can't get them out, we'll bleed them out. I mean, I have to use Braveheart here and the whole notion of prima noctra. Don't worry, I'll leave, a, I'll leave an article in the description box to kind of explain that. But I, I'm just asking a, a simple question here. Okay. So if Scotland is 96% white and uh, other is like 2.6% of the population, including some Brits and some Asian, I I'm guessing that Islam is probably, if I had to guess, was probably like 0.5%. I mean, I have a hard time seeing 0.5% of the population getting up on horses and, uh, and, and raiding the countryside and, and going after nice strapping Scottish girls and... Um, Breeding Scots or trying to breed Scotland out of uh, Scots, basically meaning trying to uh, repopulate with uh, Muslims. I just have a very hard time seeing that. YouTube, please don't strike this channel. So, Hamza Usef, I don't really know how to pronounce his name. I'm not really going to try to pronounce his name. I'm pretty sure I already butchered it just now. Is uh, going on this tirade, and there's actually a much, much longer version of this tirade, which will be left in the description box. 
And of course, it'll be left there from this video here. Um, oftentimes, I will place a video from another content creator in the description box to kind of help you guys out in case there may be something that I might be missing or maybe if there's a certain point in which I have to kind of make an additional point to. But the thing is this right here. Um, dude, as I said before in the very first section of the video, which I understand this is kind of like uh, repetitive, it's a 96% white country. What the hell do you expect? So you went to Scotland, or you were born in Scotland, and yet you're pissed off that Scotland is full of Scots? Yeah, like I said before, this right here is just another level of stupidity that the woke, of course, is... I mean, like I said, woke is just making people crazy. And you figure after 2020, after people kind of like gained the system and got what they wanted, you figured they would have stopped, but once again... Here we are. So this guy right here is the uh, first minister. He's, uh, I think he's in line to be the next prime minister. And they are about to have an election there real soon. Now, I don't know how the politics of Scotland works, okay? So I'm not really going to comment on that. But I'm pretty sure that if 96% of your population is white, I'm pretty sure they're not going to like somebody coming in and saying, uh, you're too freaking white. Look, let me ask you a serious question. Do you want these people to suddenly uh, paint themselves black? Because last I checked, blackface, like, that got you canceled. Of course, in Scotland, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of Scots that really and truly don't care about the internet drama. But then again, at the same time, do you want them to paint themselves red? Do you want them to, like, uh, go get pigment surgery? I mean, Scotland is not exactly a rich country, okay? Let's just, let's, just, let's just go ahead and get that out of the way now, okay? For the most part, it's a pretty rural area, pretty rural country. People kind of sort of, like, want to be left to themselves, that sort of thing. But next thing you know... You're bringing in racial politics to an area that, of course, is 96% white. I don't think that's going to go over very well. Also, to go on top of this, uh, you could uh, anger the population, which, by the way, that could be the actual goal here. I mean, some of these people live to just incite and instigate and uh, try to terrorize. Also, something else, too, I saw in that graphic, I think it's like 2.6% of the population is uh, Asian or other so like I said before if you're trying to start a race war in that country You're already kind of sort of up shit guys. I just said that it might not go over well in Scotland I do know that England has a uh, minority prime minister nothing wrong with that However, then again at the same time though I'm pretty sure some people in England from England could come in the comment section and say oh, yeah There's definitely a whole lot wrong here seeing how Boris was kind of a failure uh, the thing you have to understand is that um these types of, uh, and you, you have to kind of know your place, okay? And like I said, I'm not an advocate for any of this stuff right here. I'm as anti-social justice warrior as you can get. And I can kind of see through the bull crap and kind of see through the line, uh, through, 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 uh, through the line here. I'm kind of like uh, going like a mile a minute here. I mean, it's just that, once again, that's just another one of these stories that's just so freaking stupid. And another one of these responses that just makes absolutely no sense. It's like I said before. Your problem with Scotland is that it is full of Scots. Your problem with Scotland is that it's 96% white. People in Scotland cannot help how they were born, dude. This is one of the main problems that I have with this whole race war crap. You're too white. Uh, he came out the womb white. She came out the womb white. He came out the womb black. He came out the womb yellow. She came out the womb this color here. I mean, dude, you can't help what your race is. You can't help exactly how you were born, okay? You can't just up and choose to go become a certain color the very next day. I understand that there are people out there that are gaining the system, trying to identify as certain races just for the sole purpose of actually doing it. I mean, I just kind of find it weird. I, I just want to know, does this guy right here demand the entire population of Scotland to suddenly adopt certain customs like, say, I don't know, the customs that he adheres to, I'm guessing he adheres to Islam, where... Uh, Scotland, for the most part, is Catholic, uh, Catholic Christianity. I highly doubt that that is going to occur. As a matter of fact, it would not surprise me if this right here does not eventually become some form of a religious component. But seeing how it's only about maybe 1% to 2% of the population versus 96%, once again, like I said before, it's probably something that's not going to go over very well. So, guys, it's not just the United States that's experiencing this level of stupidity, as you guys have already seen. It is also countries like, say, Scotland who don't get talked about. I think Ireland is going through this right now, the United Kingdom as a whole. And pretty much all of Europe is going on with this. Right so basically the West has fallen and the West is uh, getting much, much worse due to woke politics. Don't worry, guys. We'll be doing more videos on this in the future, more videos on wokeness and projects and exactly where it comes from. 
I just figured I would throw this video out here because the topic was so absolutely freaking stupid that uh, I had no choice but to respond to. But guys, please leave me your thoughts in the comment section. Um, make sure you guys hit that like button. Definitely hit that like button so that way YouTube will send this video up, up the algorithm and people will be notified that uh, it's not just in their neighborhood. It's also in other neighborhoods around the world. And also one more thing too. Besides hitting that like button, also share the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Also, thank you for watching. I think I'm going to be saying that more often because I never thank you guys enough. And also, leave a comment in the comment section. I would really love to get you guys' thoughts on this. And uh, social justice warriors, piss off.